Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am Don and you're watching Don's DIYs where it's always better when you do it yourself. Today we are going on to the big project of redoing the Jeep. We are going to be adding a, what's an, I forget the name of it, goose, <laughs> I'm sorry, goose gear plate system in the back of the Jeep. Uh, what we bought, we bought the whole plate system that takes out both back seats. Uh, then I also bought the 60% delete bracket, which means we're going to be leaving the 60%, the 40% seat in so that uh, uh, my mother-in-law has a place to sit when, she, when we go places. And um, when we're on our trip, I can easily take that seat out and put in the other 40% piece that would give us a full rear end, uh, the whole back side of it would be covered. So um, that's, the reason I, that's the reason I bought all of it. So I'm gonna get busy taking off one of the sides to start the side plates. Uh, I don't know how far I'll get tonight. It is getting dark here quick. Uh, I've got my light set up so I can actually see and it'll film and hopefully we won't have too many loud mufflers, but uh, hopefully you'll be able to see really well with the lights that I've got set up. And um, so we're gonna get started with this as always. Guys, my video is gonna be longer than most people's. Videos that are out there, they don't show you everything. I will be showing you everything, every inch of it. Um, I try to add out my boo-boos, but I feel like that that's a part of putting this in is learning from other people's mistakes. So if I do make a mistake, you will be there to see it. Uh, please hang with me and it will be a detailed installation of the goose gear plate system. So we're gonna get started with demolition first. We'll show you everything that you gotta take out of the Jeep to do the 60% delete, okay? So let's get started with that. Okay, what we're gonna start with is the floor. We gotta get some of these bolts out of the floor to make this work. Uh, if you got the factory Jeep mat, I'm gonna try to reuse this. I really like this mat, so. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff falling. First off, they say you gotta take this out. Again, unless you're planning on reusing this stuff, you're gonna end up with a lot of stuff that you don't need that was in your Jeep. You can find that, you can put it online and give it to somebody. I wouldn't try to sell it, but I would give it to them. Um, Okay, uh, there's two bolts on this side that you're gonna take out. This is a, uh, I think it's a 30, a T30. Um, I'm gonna save these tie downs and I may save the bolts. I gotta see what the, the uh, thread bolt in the, uh, floor of the goose gear is. I may have to get new bolts, but I am going to save these tie downs because there's holes all in the goose gear system. And I mean, you've already got these nice factory tie downs that lay nice and flat. Uh, be good add-ons to your goose gear system. So I'll be saving those. Okay. Um, this has got to come out, this, this little twisty thing. We'll, we'll worry about that later. What we're going to do is we're, we're demolition tonight. We're going to demo everything we don't need. So tomorrow morning when we come out here, we can just install. So that's what we're doing tonight. So I'm going to move the camera. 
Okay, I moved you guys inside the Jeep so you can see right back here what we're working on now. Um, we have to get this plastic cover. I've already undone the floor, floor so now we need to get this off. Uh, easiest way I, I've seen is to move this up. You come in behind here with your little plastic prize. That prize right up. I'm gonna put it up behind here. So hopefully it will stay. The back side of this plastic just pulls off. They say just push it. Well, <clears throat> again, That's why my videos take so long. I will let you see what's going on. Okay, plastic piece off. There is a 10 millimeter back behind here on a post that we have to get off. It's right there. I always save every nut and bolt I take off the Jeep because you never know when you're going to run across somebody that may need that bolt or heck, you may need it. Something may fall off. So a 10 millimeter flange nut is like gold on a Jeep. It's almost like the 10 millimeter wrench itself. Okay, so now we lift up. Up and out. And it's off. Two pieces off. Okay, same thing all over again. We're going to push up the roll bar cover. We can get a little plastic tool in there real easy. And pop that up. Okay, that's out of the way. Now what we gotta do is break apart these two pieces. Which that one came off a lot easier. Maybe it's because I've had that one off before. Okay. That one was actually loose. Maybe I forgot to tighten it up last time I took it off. When I was hooking up my uh, Brawley liftgate light. Another 10 millimeter flange nut. Okay, we have the two in the floor. You see me take them out before. No need to watch me take them out again. Take them out. Okay, we've got our 10 millimeter flange nut off. We have our floor uh, bolts out. So we're just gonna lift up on this and pull it right out. Okay, we do have wires back here. I'm looking at them. I'm trying to get them situated. Oh, it's push in. And we're gonna push it in right here. Here it went. This little bitty tab right there. Right there. All right, now we're on day two. Um, what I done last night, I just pulled out the plastic, as you saw in the first part of the video. 
that's all I done. I got tired. I just said, you know, the heck with it. I went inside. So what we're going to do today is we're going to eliminate the 60% seat and we're going to get the rest of the stuff put in. Uh, we do have some cutting to do. It is on some stud bolts that you see in every video that's out there. Um, so I'm going to show you cutting those out and then we got to make sure our wires are tucked away. We'll get the one side put in the easy side on the driver's side, the passenger side we will put in, but it's gonna take a little bit longer. Uh, I won't show you what I'm doing with the holes that I'm putting in it for the uh, 12 volt system and the switch for the Brawley lift gate light. I won't show you all that because that might not uh, work with your application. So I won't show you that. Um, I may take some pictures and throw them in and, and show you guys what I had to do. And that's probably about all I'll do with that. But we're going to get busy tearing these two seats apart. Um, first look at it, I was looking at it and I'm like, okay, well, this is, this is going to be pretty easy. Uh, you need an 18 millimeter that I can find so far and a 13 millimeter. So let me get the camera set up and point it in that direction so you guys can see what the first thing is I'm going to do. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is actually remove the bolt that is between the two seats, between the 40% and the 60%. Let me get this camera going. Okay, that's the bolt we're going to take out right now. Already loosened it earlier when I was checking the size of it. Again, hang on to all your hardware. You never know when you're going to need this again. This is the only thing I can see that's joining the two seats together is that one bar, so or that one bolt. So we took the uh, flange nut off of it, and now we're going to get busy taking apart the other parts. Okay, we're going to take out this 18 millimeter. This is going to be loud. Save your hardware. Okay, that is one seat, the back side done. Okay, we have three bolts now. We've got one right there, the one with the seat belts, which technically you don't have to take out, but you do because it'd be a pain in the butt to pull it out. And the one I don't know if you guys can see it over there. So what I done was after taking out those two bolts down there, see I put them back in the hole, is I lifted up the seat and I got a little piece of string and I tied the seat off. So now the seat's folded up. Don't know if I'll ever use this thing again. Probably not, but uh, I'll probably try to find somebody online that needs a seat. Maybe they've got damage to a seat and they need it and I can give it to them. Um, I'm not going to sell something like that. Just help somebody out. So uh, I think all of these I can get with just the extension and the socket. I don't need to swivel. So here we go. It's going to get loud. Bowl down. Bolt out where the seat belts are at. We'll go around to the other side and get the other one out. Okay, so we should be out. We're gonna have to pull this side up, up and off the post, and out. Okay, it is a 15 millimeter. All of this will 
will reattach to the new bracket which we'll be putting in next. Okay, seat belt is off. Now, we've got to get the seat out of here. This is going to be difficult by yourself, but doable. Okay, this is what you get in the 40% delete bracket. First, you get some, you get a goose gear sticker. Awesome. You get the 40% or 60% delete bracket because I'm deleting 60% of my seat. You get a large nylon lock for the seat belt. You get a smaller nylon lock for the seat itself. You get a large fl flat washer and then oh yeah these two these go with this goes with the large and then you got a little thicker washer and two thin washers that go with the seat these are for the seat this is for the seat belt seat belt seat and then of course you have your two holes here and here that bolt your seat back to the body of the jeep so we're going to install that now okay we have our seat belt here i'm just going to fold it up in here first we're going to move this down okay so we can get to this bolt on the back Okay, already started off wrong. Okay. In the instructions it says you get a big washer and then a thin washer on this side. Goes in, then you get a thin washer and a flat washer. Okay, just tighten it down by fingers because we still got bolts to put back in here. So, I'm gonna get this puppy started right there. Okay, and then we got another one to go on the other side. So, we're gonna lift this back up. And then again, we put a thick washer and a thin washer. We put the seat belt, then a thin washer and a nylon lock. Now, this bracket is way off, so I'm probably going to have to do some moving around to get that in there. Okay, this is what I came up with, is I'm using one of my clamps. Got it hooked on the side that's bolted down. And I'm going to twist this and pull it into place. Now, this is what I need to do. I'm not saying that uh, it's what you're going to have to do. Yours may go right in there. I did, it did also tighten this down. It's a uh, 9 16 the seat bracket. I did tighten it down. And that pulled it over a little bit, but it wasn't quite enough for this. So uh, I decided to use a clamp. It's going to get noisy. Going to tighten this down. Okay. That's done. Now it's in there. This is tightened down. Does the seat still work? 
Yep. A little glitchy. But yes, the seat does work. Now we all we got to do is get our seat belt lined up. We've got a thick washer, a thin washer, our seat belt itself. Now my question to you is, do I turn that over? And it'll make it a pain in the butt to have to unhook. There we go. Now it's sitting flat. This end. Okay, uh, get the wrench for that. Probably it'll be going to be, I'm gonna say three quarters. And I'm right. nylon locking nut so once you see threads you're usually pretty good that's locked down now the seat belt is ready to go okay uh, on to the next thing okay what we're gonna do is start with the driver's side of the cubbies that go in the back we're gonna start with that this is your end plate it's just easier this is a closure plate uh, this will be right behind the passenger seat so it's just going to be easier to do here than out there on the ground 530 seconds is what uh, I'm finding that for the uh, Allen wrench Slide it in till the top is level. You can adjust this later with just a few turns to loosen it up if it if you're off a little bit. But go ahead and, and uh, tighten it down. If you don't have to readjust it, which I think I'm a hair over, so I'm going to back it up a little bit. Right about there. You've got captured nuts on the back of these things. The reason I tell you that is because it's going to come into play later on. We're going to have to disassemble part of the 60% delete to, to slide in extra panels. Of course, they can't ship them with all the panels. They got to ship them this way. So there is your first part of your panel. That's your front piece. This is what's going to close up right behind the passenger seat on the driver's side, your 40% seat, this will close it up. Uh, they say it's a great place to put things. I don't think so. Gonna make it as clean as possible install. So uh, next thing is to get the camera moved inside the Jeep and get this little piece installed. Okay, I set this in here. If I'm not mistaken, it's gotta go behind the seat belt. It's got a little cutout for the seat belt area there. You gotta pull your rubber gasket off of your door seal thing here. Pull it off. Make sure that's lined up. Put your gasket back on. Just that easy. That's gonna give it a nice clean look. It actually um, thins this out some. The, the plastic came out a little bit more and I like the way that thins it out. Okay, you need to take out the front bolt on your hard top. Okay, save it. 
you don't need it but save it okay now you have this plate it's got to go on here got a really long bolt I don't understand why it's got such a long bolt but I didn't design it I'm just using it got to make sure your carpet is down out of the way when you're doing this uh, it goes from a uh, uh, T40 to an H5 again make sure your carpet is pushed down out of the way Now, um, I got to put this bolt up so I know where it's at. Now, the big end with the tab or the, I guess it would be the nut part of it, down. So it's got to go in like this. Okay. The large hole goes up onto this bolt. Okay, I just removed that. We're going to pull this carpet down. See how much easier that was to take that off? Okay, and then you have a nut and a washer. I have half inch nut, nylon lock nut, plate on with a tab down. Flat washer up there. Those wires are also in the way right there. You got wires in your water line for your rear um, window and defroster, window windshield wiper and defroster. Okay. I got the nut and washer on, but I forgot to put the plate on. So we back up. Uh, this bolt you're going this nut you're going to leave loose for right now after you get your top in you reach in and tighten it down so we got that on what we're gonna do is just gonna go ahead and put a wrench on it Run it down. Okay. Chuck all this back up underneath there. Yeah, we can still get to our bolt. Put the carpet back in place. See, it's still, I don't know if you guys can see that. Still loose. And you'll be able to get your wrench up underneath it and on it. 
okay? And you'll be able to, just like that, underneath it. Okay? Still loose. All right. Okay. On this side, you have your water line and your power line for your windshield wiper and defroster. Flip the little red lever over, get here at the bottom, push it, pull it right off. Here, just anywhere you can get it. I like to pull it apart right here at the fitting. We're out. Okay, there's no simple way to do it. I went ahead and run my lines back up through, got them connected. And the only way is to look down in the hole, make sure that your captured nut there is tight, or in, I mean in slot. And this is the easiest way that I have found. I've done a couple of different try things trying to figure it out. There is no easy way. So we're gonna go ahead and get the front two. I'll move the camera. And, ooh, excuse me. And we'll get them. So now you get back up in here. I'm gonna move the camera so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Okay, so uh, this one here has, needs to be pushed way in. So I push it in, I look down there, I can see the nut, move it into place. Drop the bolt. Captured, got it. Okay, front one is pretty lined up. It's just got to push in some. There we go. Okay, uh, now we need to get our last bolt in there. And I uh, hope you guys can see that. The last bolt that goes in the top up here that goes into that uh, flange that we, or that bracket that we put on the, the original top bolt. Bend that way. Tuck your hand in underneath. I pushed in on it as I tightened it. Dropped in. That thing is solid as a rock. Okay, that's pretty tight. So, that's one side down. Now we can get ready for the other side. Well, I almost forgot about this part. Um, you got your cubby hole cover. It goes in, slides in, boom, covered. And that also locks, so you can, you can lock this 
and keep your little hidden gems that you don't want people to see tucked away in there. You got a lot of space in there. Um, I just wouldn't push nothing too far. You may uh, fall back this side, then you'll be out somewhere having to tear your whole, uh, whole thing apart. All right, we forgot about these surrounds for the seat belt. A lot of people take their seat belts out. I'm not going to. I'm going. It's something I may want to put back in here later. So I'm just going to. Uh, I'm gonna hang on to them. See where the bolts go in. Okay, we're going to tighten these down. going to loosen these back ones. Maybe there's a little bit of play in it. Okay, that was uh, pretty cool. Gives it a nice clean look. I love doing woodwork and I would have loved to have been able to build something like this. But the time it would take me to figure it out, they say that if you cut off a tab But I don't see a tab you gotta cut off. That went right back on there. Nice look, still use the seat belt for the, for the uh, passenger in the back, which would be my mother-in-law, so she'll have a nice seat belt still to use. So this side is completed. Wow, that looks so cool. I think it's gonna be beneficial to us. It's actually given us more space in here and a place to, to put things. Okay, um, our next thing we've got to do is we've got to remove these uh, little clips on this wire for your bass speaker if you're keeping it. Which you can buy the, the uh, kit now with a place cut out for your bass speaker, which that's what we done. Okay. Okay, no good. Now, what we've got to do now is actually cut off three studs, one here, one here, and one here. I'm gonna get the GoPro out and set up for this.
got to take out the door uh, hinge here. I guess the door prop hinge or however you want, may want to call it, whichever you may want to call it. Let's see what size it is. It's not that one. Yes. Save these bolts, you will need them. You will put them back in. Okay. Out of the way. Again, save those bolts, you will reuse them. Okay, now we're gonna get set for our first piece on this side, which will be the side. And I'm gonna go ahead and install the front piece on it and I'll come back to you. Don't know if your Jeep has it or not, but mine does. This little plastic piece on this stud, it needs to come off. So make sure you take that off because your corresponding panel, let's see if I can get it, has just a little hole. That is not going to go in there, so you have to pull this plastic piece off and get it out of your way. We ha uh, another thing, there's two tabs right here where these wires are at. You got to pull those out. Easiest thing to do is just cut them, get them out of your way, because you're going to reroute this wire. Uh, need another pair of pliers. Yeah, they're they're gonna be in your way. So this wire will get rerouted into this into this uh, gap here. So, we're just going to run this up here and into that. We're going to pull our gasket back like we did before. We're going to run our panel up here. You can feel it when it drops onto that little stud right here. Make sure this is in here right. Yep. Again, um, I forgot about the bolt here. So I'm gonna pull this out and go back and reinstall that bolt. We, I forgot about this time. All right, we're gonna take out the original bolt. Original bolt is out. Okay, get this new bolt started. Yeah, it's poking out now. Uh, on this side doesn't seem to be as much in the way as the other side was. So I'm going to go ahead and try to get this stuff up in there. Yep, there we go. You know what, it is gonna be in the way. That doesn't feel good. 
18 millimeter bolt, bolt in your butt don't feel good. Okay, pull this down out of the way. Yeah. There we go. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna need, I think it's this one. Top is back down and all we need to do is tighten this up a little bit. Get it close to where the other one was. The other one was only like a turn and a half from tight, so that's what we want. I could probably pull this carpet back and use my ratchet in of my wrench, but uh, I don't want to. Okay, now we're starting to snug down. Pretty close to being snug. I can still move it. And I probably only got like a quarter of a turn to tight. So I'm going to back this up right here. Right there. I can still move that around. So that's twice. Thank God I don't have to do it a third time. All right, so now we are going to take our side panel and put our side panel back up. Okay, what I had to do was I took it off the door completely. That way I can uh, line it up a lot better to what I'm seeing where the holes are. It's uh, saying this got to go a pretty good ways down. Okay, so I had to cut this big chunk of sealant out of this corner. And now we're going to try it again. I had to change mics, my wireless is about to go dead. That one went, went right in. I got my big old head in the way, you guys can't even see what I'm doing. Two of them tightened down really good. Gotta move. Reach over here and pick this up and move it over. Yep, I had to move that over so. Okay, number four. All right, so be aware of your sealant in the corner. Yours may have it, may not. So I had to cut a chunk of that sealant away to get this in there. 
but it's in there now. So now we go back to the door. And we put the door back together. Most people don't want to do that, but I know my tools, that little impact, I can almost hold that thing with my hand, but it's a good little impact. So our wires are rerun. So I have found out I don't have all the parts I need to redo all this. So we're not going to worry about this uh, light right now and the plug. Uh, I may end up running that plug up and through the roll bar and down through the other side. So uh, I wanted to show you what I was doing with the uh, little rib nuts or captured nuts that they have. Not rib nuts. If you look, you'll see a little indentation. I don't know if it's going to focus. I'm actually putting that indentation up. And that's what's helping grab, grab onto them. And uh, they're, they, they seem to stay still a little better when you put them in. They're a little bit sturdier and they're sitting flat. When I had them the other way, they were kind of cocked in the hole. You know what I'm saying? Uh, instead of them sitting flat, they were kind of cocked over and that's why I couldn't get a bolt started. But when I turned them over, they were sitting, they, they sat flat in the hole. So I don't know if I was looking at the instructions wrong and that's the way they're supposed to be. If they are, I apologize for all the extra words that I used today. Um, when I was off camera discussing with myself about how this was supposed to go together. It was a very intelligent conversation. I think I understand what I was trying to say. Okay, so I've got one little wire thing there now it's gone okay all right that's in I had a little flashlight. There it is. I think it's almost dead. It's close. Now I've hit myself in the eyes and I can't see. I can't tell. not it. Oh, I did hit it. Alright, I'm going to take this one loose because I just knocked that too far. Yeah, I knocked it way too far. Yeah, 
guys with glasses ever do this and go, damn, I'm blind as a bat? Okay, it's in. All right, so we slide this back. edge of it. Okay, that does make sense to uh, try to leave it a little loose so you can you've got some play in the platform here when you're you when you're moving it. See back and forth, see that? Oh, uh, well, you can't see it because my arm's in the way. But you got some movement in it. That's going to help you line them up, so remember that. I'll turn this over here so we're doing this one. Yep, big butt's got to get inside now. This is not an old man's install, I can tell you that. But we can make it. We'll make it work. Okay, so... Mine is way back here. How's that one? That's pretty close. There it was. started and one more and I've uh, lost the bolt even though I just tossed it up here it was right here and I moved it up here I can see what a lot of my problem is right here. This piece of aluminum that was already on here is not slid forward enough. So that was a quick readjust. But 
Now, I just got to find my other bolt that goes in here. And uh, I got it lined up. Now all I got to do is find my other bolt. So uh, until I find that, I'll be back. Okay, I uh, got it. I uh, found it. What happened was I was using the wrong size bolt. What I done was I used the longer bolt that was made for that bracket that we put in on the hard top. So we're going to, this is going to be pulled in. We got to line up our bracket, which I can already see the brackets off a little bit. So we'll scoot the bracket over some. Uh, Got to get back in here. I don't think that I've ever been in the back except to do stuff. bracket was actually in a really good spot after moving it over a little bit okay so we're back to doing the surround the um, seat belt again I'm not too worried about this because the only thing I would have to do is to pull out these bolts to get this to run that new wire so I'm not too worried about that Check them by hand. In. Seat belt guard, cover plate. Uh -oh. In place, Velcro's back. We're golden. Part one of getting the new back plate in is going to be to remove this. The other pieces fell down in there. You can get it if you want. Move your jack and get it out. A lot of people take their jack out of here. Um, I've never used this jack. I have a floor jack I take with me. But there's always a reason to have it back here. So I'm just going to leave it here. Uh, I got a little cubby hole here. I could put some stuff if I needed to. If I feel like it's useless to me because of the tools I take, it will become a good uh, hole to stash um, valuables in. Because it ha you have a plate cover that goes on it right here. So, so let's get this thing out of here. Um, if you want to keep it, there is a certain way to take that take it out. It is not the way that I'm fixing to take mine out. Um, my Jeep will never go back this way, so it's just easy enough to 
break it and get it out of there. There we go. It's out. So, again, you can dig down in here if you want to grab these parts. I, I'm not going to take it apart just to grab them. I'll clean it out one day if, when I decide if I'm going to use this for a jack or not. But uh, make sure you always pick up your little pieces because these things are going to be underneath the floor. And they're going to vibrate. And they're going to eat up your metal. Even at plastic. See here, I, got, I was looking for my third stud that I cut off before I put the side plate on. And I couldn't find it. But I just happened to look down there and see it. So I got my third stud out. So we are ready for the big platform that goes in here that covers up the speaker and on the back and everything. So I am going to go get that and bring that outside. Okay. Are going in with a plate. Maybe okay. We're gonna go in the other way so that the uh... door hinge isn't hitting. I don't know if this goes over rubber. Looks like it goes over it. Uh, I'm gonna come around there and look at that corner. Seat belt was in the way. Okay, seat belt's out of the way now. Looks to be. Can put the front one back in. Okay, I'm gonna take a break for a minute. Okay, I just wanted to show you what it looks like in. That is what the plate system looks like. If I was just gonna do the back, that would be all there, all there is. Very sleek, very nice. What I really wanted to show you is look at all these anchor points you have. Quarter 20. Look at all the anchor points. They're everywhere. You can get the Goose Gear uh, refrigerator mount and put in here. I'm going to build one that slides mine out, but pretty sure mine's going to be... Uh, will actually just stay in there. I don't need it to move, I guess, the way it opens up. All right, everyone, that is the end of part one. That is uh, the demolition of what you have to do, the installation of the cubbies, 
even cutting off the bolts heads that you need the stud heads you need to cut off installation of the plate so uh, part two is going to be the installation of the 60% section that I've deleted out that I'm going to cover over actually that's where all my tools are going to be I figured it'd be a really great great place it's a nice deep hole and I can keep all my tools and my recovery gear in there so it's not up here uh, in the way it's something we wouldn't use all the time so it would go down there uh, when we go on a go on a trip we have containers to put our clothes in so those actually will get strapped down back here in the back a couple of uh, containers um, so that is it on the part one so as always guys be safe in your shops be safe when you're driving out there on the road and when you're on the trail stay on the trail leave room for bikes peace out